Climate change protesters have clashed with police as they try to shut down the King's North Power Station in Kent. There were several violent skirmishes as the demonstrators tried to make their way towards the plant. More than 1,000 police officers from 26 different forces were drafted in to deal with them. Sky's environment correspondent Catherine Jacob now reports. I like it. Some people get around it. If the protesters were determined to try to storm King's North Power Station, the police today were just as determined to stop them. These ugly scenes occurred after a so-called affinity group of some 100 protesters broke away from the official march to try to reach their target. And this is what they were confronted by. Police wielding batons. Despite the immensely tight security, though, some did get through. Their aim, to say no to a new power station at King's North. Here, some determined protesters managed to use one of the outer fences to scale another. The electrified fence had, at this stage, been turned off. A number of people did manage to get onto the site, but they were immediately arrested. Once again, you know, the police have said there was going to be violent troublemakers here, and once again, no, there's just been completely non-violent um, people getting into the power station, causing a bit of disruption, getting some boats on the water, blocking the ships. It's been a fantastic day, and it shows how strongly people feel about this issue and how frustrated and angry they are about plans to build a new power station here. Yeah. Around a 1,000 people are estimated to have taken part in today's protest. Just after 9 this morning, the main march left the camp, heading off towards their target. For the most part, it was peaceful. Well, the protesters promised they'd converge on the power station by land, sea and air, and while a handful of campaigners did manage to scale at least one of the fences of King's North, ultimately their aim of trying to shut the power station down wasn't reached. These protesters are part of a group called the Great Rebel Raft Regatta. They intended to sail down the Medway to King's North Power Station, though this group didn't get very far. There were some arrests. All week, policing at the camp has been extremely heavy. On Monday, police dressed in riot gear clashed with protesters. After trying to gain access to the site, they made a number of arrests, though they denied their actions were excessive. What we want to do is to facilitate lawful demonstration, but our overarching aim, and I've been consistent on this all week, is to ensure the safety of everybody. That's the protesters, the residents of the Hu Peninsula and the police, and we've achieved that very well. Today, many protesters leaving the site were questioned and searched, leading to some angry scenes. Up to 1,400 police officers faced the activists today from 26 forces across the country. While they and the energy company E.ON always said they were confident the extra security measures would ensure the protesters wouldn't get through, today's direct action has at the very least highlighted the strength of feeling on the camp against new coal in the UK. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Kent.